So, good evening, Cyberland. Here we are again. I'm working on the third tool post, well, like say, tool post holder for my little Chinese mini lathe. Um, I just, the third one just came in today. Anyway, the channel is Old Part Hacks, and I'm Marlin. I'm not happy with what I'm seeing here, but let's get on with it. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to the third tool post, OXA tool post holder. This is, again, I think this is from the same company as the last one. I, and I'll show you why in just a moment. The box looks identical, although the markings on the box are a little different, but still. So let's, without ado, get into it. Ado, of course, is that stuff that falls from the sky early in the morning and gets everything all wet. Oh, well, anyway. The unboxing. I've already had this out of the box. In fact, here's the box. Oops, sorry. Bash everything around. Here's the box for the holder. And here we have the, you know, knob and so on. And yeah, I think it's, uh, looking at this, I'm reasonably sure it's from the same company. Uh, same same 14 millimeter nut. Here's the post itself. The tool holders are as the last one like this. This is the 001, which is your normal facing and turning tool. They look nice. They kind of do. They have, I'm not going to take these out of the package because I'm sending this back, I think. But they have the proper cuts. They're properly rebated. They look like they're well machined. This part's good. And I looked at all the other holders as well, and they are about the same. I don't think there's a problem there. The problem with this holder, I won't throw this one over my left shoulder, that'd be messy in the box, is this. And I haven't taken this out of the bag yet. But if you see the little knob here, this is the knob that's used to adjust the jaws up and down. It's supposed to turn to allow you to do that. As you can see, if you're looking at the hole, I don't know, you can see the hole right there, but it does not turn. Well, as I said, I'm not going to open much of this, but I am going to open this, just because that way I can complain cleanly and neatly to the people I bought this from. And they're just going to have to understand I opened it. Uh, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Uh, I live with people and I get interrupted. Yeah, such is life. To life, to life, lachaim and all that. Anyway, so as I was saying, let's go ahead and pull this out of the packaging. And I got a, a paper towel here because this is oily and I don't like... Well, oily's nice, but oh yeah, this is going back. I can see that right now. It's got the other problem as well. By the way, the edge here is not properly broken, as is this one. It's almost like they're getting these parts from two different people and then boxing them up. You know, the, the people that are selling the and boxing them are buying from source A and source B. These are reasonably well machined, but there's a problem. I'll show you what the problems are. Anyway, let's just clean the bulk of the oil off this. Okay, as I said, this does not turn. It's supposed to turn. It has to turn or else you can't get the tools in and out. Uh, excuse me, I forgot to grab a screwdriver. Silly me. Let's go ahead and take it down so I can show you where the problem is. Maybe not. That one's in real tight. Give me a time. I've got to come up with some other way of popping this thing apart. I'll be back with you folks in a bit. Well, again, folks, I'm picking up from where I left off. I went ahead and tried to, or made up a, a spanner to go across here. And this shoulder bolt is in extremely tight. 
Now, mind you, that should not affect the rotation of this ring. This is why it's a shoulder bolt. When it's screwed all the way in, there should be a few thousands clearance to let this ring turn. This ring drives a worm gear here in the body, the mating surfaces of which are on the two clamping bars. Having said that, you can even tell there's a problem with this screw because it actually sticks below the bottom of the tool post. Really poor work there. Uh, this has been the one of the two major problems. The other major problem, if you look, you can see right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. And that's the gap underneath these the uh, clamping bars. There should not be this much play. With that much play, these bars, these clamps, will hang up as they go up and down and make the tool post unusable. So again, yes, this one came from the same people the last one I got came from. When I say people, I mean the same manufacturer. Sold by different vendors. Sold at about the same price point. This guy actually charged um, five bucks more. And it's just disappointing. Absolutely disappointing. So this one's going back as well. Okay, I've lost my monitor. Anyway, so this is again Marlin on the Old Fart Hacks channel saying, I hope you all have a good time. If you find these informational, please like and please subscribe. Bye-bye.